So next, I want to talk about the walls and the RVs. So most of you have probably seen this before, um, looking at which leads on the EKG correspond to what walls and arteries on the um, EKG. But what's important to note is that when we talk about walls and arteries, you can only localize ischemia with ST elevations. So if you have T-wave inversions, you can't say that the inferior T-wave inversions are correlating to the right coronary artery because from the studies that we've actually shown, they don't correlate that well. So let's first go through these and then we'll kind of talk about this further. The first one I want to talk about are the inferior leads, right? We've all heard about them. Two, three, and ABF, they represent the inferior leads or the inferior wall of the heart, which is mainly supplied by the right coronary artery. 80% of patients um, have the inferior wall supplied by the right coronary artery. 20% have it by the left circumflex. So this is important because we'll talk about soon why inferior wall MIs are very important to know about in the field because our management is different. The next ones we'll talk about are V1, V2. These are known as the septal leads and they're supplied by the left anterior descending or the LAD. But if you have ST elevations isolated in V1 and V2 and you don't have them in the other precordial leads, V3, V4, V5, V6, you should be thinking of an RV involvement. So that right ventricle could be involved and you might have um, the RCA be occluded. And this is important because if you see ST elevations isolated here, that RV might be down and your treatment is gonna be different just like the first case um, when we started this lecture. The other precordial leads are just basically the rest of the LAD. So you have the anterior wall for V3, V4, which corresponds to the mid LAD. You have the lateral wall, which is in V5, V6. The lateral wall is also represented by one and ABL. But if you have isolation of ST elevations in one and ABL, that's called the high lateral leads, which usually indicate more left circumflex territory than LAD. Especially if you just see ST elevations in one and ABL and maybe some in V5 and V6, but you don't see any in the other precordial leads, you're thinking more that this is probably gonna be a circumflex lesion and not an LAD lesion. The last lead that we have here is AVR. So AVR doesn't necessarily correspond to any specific wall, but we're going to talk about how if you have an isolated ST elevation AVR and other changes on the EKG, this can actually be very, very concerning and an ominous sign that there is something much uh, worse underlying in the patient. 